forecast now from Chief Meteorologist Doppler Dave Spielman. I was going to say first alert, but you lifted that because the storms have moved on. Uh, yeah, we're still tracking it, an isolated cell out here towards uh, Dell City. If you look at this one right here, uh, we're clear here in the El Paso area, Doniana County. But this guy right here, you folks in Dell City, as we zoom in a little bit tighter, looks like it has a little hell core here. This is going to be some heavy rain, so if you have a chance, you folks in Dell City, you might take your car, put it in the garage, put it under a carport. You have some time yet. You got about uh, 30 minutes or so, but it continues to be tracking in your direction. Severe thunderstorm warning for uh, you folks in Dell City. Well, here's the hell core that we had across parts of town. There's Montana Avenue, Syllabus to Mall, and even just to the northeast there, another hell core. And a lot of folks were sending some pics and video in of the hell storm. A lot of piece size hell, maybe a little marble size hell as well, but again, uh, this was a, a good rain event, too. We talked about how, you know, we had about three quarters of an inch getting close to an inch of rainfall around parts of town. So this was welcome news. You know, last time we seen some rain, you have to go back to the month of March, March 21st. We didn't get much, 0 0.02, but uh, we certainly picked up a decent amount across that area. There is a look at our latest future track computer model, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. I think for the most part, we're going to be fine. Maybe some storms well to the east of us, but we'll have a fair amount of sunshine, maybe tracking a few clouds here and there as we make our way throughout your Friday. And then the weekend looks good. The only issue with the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday, the winds are going to pick up a little bit, but low and windy with those gusts at right around 30 miles an hour. All right, so here's your planner for tomorrow. 7 o'clock at 67. Look at the lunch hour. 87 degrees, 95 expected by 5 o'clock. So with a decent amount of sunshine, those temperatures are going to heat up. We had 93, by the way, the official high temperature today. All right, so the wind gusts tomorrow, 25. The winds will be switching more to the southwest. Once they switch to the southwest, it's going to push a lot of moisture well to the east of us. So we'll start to rapidly dry out by tomorrow afternoon. All right, so here's your weekend. Look at Saturday and Sunday. Gusts, low and windy. You know, you've got some... Parties going on, graduation parties, what have you, over the weekend. The winds will be up just a little bit. I don't think anything extreme. And then Monday into the rest of the week, the winds maybe breezy category, right around 20 to 25 miles per hour. So sky's mainly clear now. Now the winds have been picking up out of the east-southeast. The outflow winds from the storms earlier this evening in our eastern counties. So we're going to have some gusty conditions yet for a little while. 96 expected for tomorrow. Be about a 10% chance of an isolated shower, mainly early. Then we kick in those southwesterly winds. Then we begin to dry things out. 62 will be the overnight low for you guys in Las Cruces. Your high temp tomorrow will make it up to 92 degrees. Still going to be a bit humid, especially early on in the day. There's the wind speeds we expect tomorrow out of the east to southeast and then more to a westerly direction by the afternoon and evening. So 96 tomorrow, 99 expected on Saturday, 97 on Sunday. Again, the winds low and windy with those gusts to 30. We've already had four triple digit days so far this year, this early season. Of course, June is the hottest month of the entire year. Here's day number five of triples, day number six, day number seven on Wednesday, and then 98 expected on Thursday. Winds pick up just a bit, probably gusts around 30 as well. We'll take a break. Look at sports next.